With all the recent rumors about a possible Legends Unova or an open world Gen 5 Pokemon game coming out in the next year, I thought it'd be kind of neat to come up with a wish list of things that I believe should be in the game if they're actually planning on making an open world Gen 5 game. I'm sure Nintendo and Pokemon will learn from their mistakes from like Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet to make a better open world Pokemon game. I'm not hating on Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet, I thought those were two great games, but there were some things that I definitely think that they could prove upon and do better in future Pokemon games. I think a Gen 5 open world game should definitely have a more diverse map that's kind of more interactive because when I played through Legends Arceus at times it felt lonely, I felt like I was in the middle of nowhere which I know I was, but like I feel like there should have been towns or little civilizations at least at least a few of them are on the map because I know the game takes place in the past and I know that like I'm the only person or trainer that could technically like survive in the open without being attacked by Pokemon because I have my own Pokemon that I can defend myself with against wild Pokemon but I just wish that there were like more towns or groups of people that I can interact with, maybe get some better side quests, more in-depth story. I know that there were a few people, like there were a few NPCs around the map, but I just felt like there should have been more because the map itself was great. I loved the map, I loved all the caves and all the ravines and waterways and everything. I thought it was a great map. All I'm asking for is just a few more towns or civilizations and stuff like that. Legends Arceus did have a town, the big major town, that's like the place that you go back to see the professor and stuff every now and then to get your, to get like a new quest and everything. I thought that was a great town. I loved the layout of it. I loved all the people and NPCs there. They all had a story to tell. You could, you can shop there, you can get some side quests and everything. So if we just had more stuff like that around the map, even just like three in total, you know, you know, even just like a couple more towns, I think that would be great to have in a Legends Unova or Kyurem game, whatever they're going to call it. I also feel like Scarlet and Violet was really interactive. It was always so fun coming across like a new town, finding a new cave or just like an enemy base or something like that. I think they definitely improved upon the interactiveness with the map with Scarlet and Violet. So I think they could probably do an even better job with a future open world Pokemon game. And I know the Unova region is based off of New York City, so I think it'd be kind of cool to explore maybe the region before all the skyscrapers were built and maybe see it more as an area where like people are just starting to settle there. You know, they have like their little camps or maybe tiny towns with like brick houses or something like that just like before all the major buildings were actually built. Something else that I'd love to see in a Gen 5 open world game is just more in-depth lore and information about the original dragon. We haven't seen what the original dragon looks like. We don't even know what is named. Whatever the name is for that original dragon though, it's gotta be pretty sick. I mean, I can't even come up with a name for it to be honest. But to me, that'd be a selling point for the game if we got to see a in-depth storyline that revolves around the original dragon. That's personally probably the thing I'd like to see the most out of any Pokemon game, out of any generation. I think the original dragon is like the coolest, most interesting lore that we need to know more about in the Pokemon world. The Unova region has so much depth to it with like all the possible storylines that could still take place or did take place that we don't know about yet. There's a lot of historical landmarks and there's just so much more to that region and generation that's so interesting to me. I'd also like to see new parts of the Unova region that we haven't seen before. Just like, you know, a little expansion or maybe like an underground system or something like that. I believe they expanded the region in Black and White 2, but I actually haven't played those games. I really want to, they're just so expensive, but maybe I'll pull the plug one day and buy Black and White 2. I'd also like to replay Black and White. I have Black, so maybe I'd like to play through White or something like that. I think that'd be pretty fun. That's a little unrelated to the topic, just kind of wanted to mention that. Also, I don't think that a Legends Unova or Legends Cure game would technically necessarily have to take place in the past, because I know Legends Arceus took place in the past, right? But I feel like it would be kind of cool if the storyline took place in the past, present, and the future, so we could like travel to any point in time, or or we complete like one third of the game in the past, complete the second part of the game in the present day, and then the future part, you know, that's like the last part of the game, the last stretch. And then maybe when we beat the actual game, we could just teleport to any time we want within the Unova region. I think that'd be kind of neat. I don't really know how they do that though. It might make the storyline a little confusing and a little bit messy at times. So I'm not sure. It's just an idea that I'm throwing out there. If we don't get to like time travel, I just like to at least see some lore or cutscenes about the original dragon, like just like the origin of the dragon or how it split up into Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kiram. Just anything more about that would be pretty cool. 
or at the very least just getting to see the original dragon you know what i'm saying like just getting just getting to see a picture of him would be would be good enough for me i think it'd be really cool to see new regional variants i almost think that's kind of like a confirmed thing with pokemon games nowadays like we're gonna always pretty much get new regional variants it's always fun to see a new version of a pokemon that we already know in you know, like a new color or maybe with like an additional wing or arm or something like that it's kind of cool that scarlet violet gave us a glimpse of like future pokemon which i hope all future pokemon don't look like that because they all kind of look really similar with like the color scheme and stuff but i know that they are you know like future future pokemon so it's not going to really affect anything it was kind of cool to see though it's just interesting that they can have so many different designs of a pokemon so it's always interesting to see what they do the creativity that goes behind a new regional variant also, something that I would like with a Gen 5 open world game is just like a longer development cycle because Gen 5 is my favorite generation as it is for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people love Gen 5. So I love to see a game that's really thought through, really developed so we don't have like a lot of bugs and issues. I'd rather go like two years or even maybe three years if the storyline and game is going to be good enough. I'd rather wait to get a great Pokemon game than to get one every single year that's just kind of mediocre. I'm not saying that Scarlet and Violet were mediocre, I love that game, but there were definitely some very obvious flaws that a lot of people complained about, which were annoying, you know? Like, I don't know if this happened with anyone else, but if I plugged my Switch into the dock and had on the TV while playing Scarlet and Violet, there was like screen tearing or something like that, just like lines coming on the screen. Of course, a lot of frame rate drops, a lot of just lag and little bugs. So, also before anyone says that's just my Switch, it only happens on Scarlet and Violet. It doesn't happen on any other game with the lines, you know, coming across the screen. Since Gen 5 is such an awesome generation, I really don't want them to mess anything up, and I really don't want, like, little bugs or glitches to affect the gameplay playthrough and stuff like that, so hopefully they take their time to develop a game if they're really serious about making a Gen 5 open world game. And also, these are all leaks and rumors, like, it's not confirmed by Nintendo that we're actually going to get an open world game, it's literally just leaks. But the leaks are from a reputable leaker that has been pretty accurate in the past, so, so it's kind of cool to make these videos. I know my recent, like, three videos have been based upon, like, Black and White 3 or Legends of Unova, it's just a really cool topic because it's my favorite generation, so I find it very interesting, and I have a lot of ideas that, you know, kind of goes behind it. Another thing on my wish list is to have better side quests. I feel like a lot of the side quests in some Pokemon games are just kind of strange or they're not really worth it. Their rewards are kind of just like, like what's the point of getting this reward? It's nothing, not going to benefit me in any way. So I'd rather have better side quests that make me feel like I'm on a real mission rather than just doing stuff to cross it off of a list. Like maybe it would be cool if we got some side quests with cutscenes or lore that I could literally only see if I do or complete that quest that I can't see anywhere else or otherwise. Or maybe even just receive better rewards that really make it worth it. I also hope that the after game content will be great too because because I know Pokemon games have after game content but sometimes it feels a little pointless or like stuff is just kind of thrown in there just so we can actually play the game a little bit longer but like there's really no meaning to it. Like Scarlet and Violet, like I, uh, this is spoiler just in case you haven't beat the game. Like at the very end, I'm pretty sure they want you to re, uh, like re-battle all of the gym leaders which is like kind of weird because why would I want to go back and defeat every single gym leader again? I don't know. My In my opinion, I'm just like, well, I just did that. I just, you know, beat the final boss and everything like that. Don't really want to do that too much, but maybe I'll get to it if I'm bored. Or maybe even like a better online system where I could like come back and battle and rank up to earn like online badges or something like that. Just something that makes me feel like I want to grind a Pokemon game after I've already completed it. Let me know what you guys think though, let me know if you have any ideas or wishes that you would want to see in an open world gen 5 game, let me know if you want to expand on anything that I mentioned in this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.